Hi guys, it's Tailmange again. Um, I'm here again, 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 playing again, once again, IL-2 Sturmovic 1946 again. And it's mission 3 of Fighter Boys 1940. Um, let's read the blurb. August 11th, 1940, West Molling. That was your first real dogfight and you did good. Remember, never fly straight in a combat zone for more than 10 seconds and keep your head on a swivel. Now you understand why they say that one hour of the real thing is worth 50 hours of training. Soon, you will face bombers. Then you must know that the commander of our group, 11 Group, Air Vice Marshal Park, has set out that individual squadrons are to intercept enemy raids. The aim is to subject Jerry to constant attacks by relatively small numbers of aircraft, trying to break up the tight formations of the bombers. Once formations have gone to pieces, stragglers can be picked off one by one. When multiple squadrons reach a raid, the procedure is as follows. The slower Hurricanes will tackle the bombers, while we, with our more agile Spitfires, go for the fighter escort. Mind you, this is the ideal, not always achieved. Yes, another thing. You see that piggy bank over there? It's tradition in this squadron that every pilot put a few bob in there. Bob means money in English. And when someone goes in, you know, you never say shot down with a colleague, only say going in. We plunder the bank and have a drink for them at the mess in the evening. Well, that's nice. They could have given it to the grieving widow, but um, never mind. Your mission. There is a convoy, codenamed Booty, off Harwich. Our chain home radio direction finding facilities, I will tell you more about those another day, have picked up what appears to be a sizable enemy force going towards it. We, together with four other squadrons, are sent due east to meet the attackers. Any questions? No? Well then, let's get cracking. Um, great, so that's the mission. Intercept some... Uh, Enemies trying to attack a, a ship convoy, it sounds like, up here, just, um, I believe this is East Anglia, this is kind of the, the romp of uh, Britain, I think of Britain as being, looking like kind of an old man, this is his arse, or ass as the Americans call it, over here, and then he's got a big foot going out there, which is Cornwall, and that's geography, so let's feel about that. Okay, historical notes, regarding the previous mission, oh, so it's uh, like a historical, um, what actually happened. For the previous mission. On August 8th, a big air battle raged over and around convoy Peewit as it steamed through the channel towards the northeast. During this, Jaffu 2 sent a strong fighter sweep over the coast, and these became engaged by Spitfires from squadrons 41, 64, and 65. So that's what we did. We fought Jaffu 2 and we killed three of them, which was a great job by us. Okay, so you know the drill. I'm gonna click fly. Click fly and skip the loading screen and I'll see you in the plane. Hey, I'm in the plane! Engine on! Okay, let's take a look around. Same old airfield. Once again we're at the... Oh, right at the back of a long line of um, planes here. Now let's just take a take our bearings here because I want to um, get a good idea of how, of how I should land okay so if I want to come into land this time if I come into land I should swing around here and go in this way and that way we might not have the same problems we had with the um, the forest we did last time Let's check our um, instruments here looking good speed things up a bit Heading zero three zero. I've turned zero down the, uh, the volume of the voices so hopefully you won't be too, too loud and I won't get drowned out this time if you have any more feedback for me please do let me know and I'll try my best to accommodate your wishes almost there there we go okay all right I'm not gonna put the flaps down yet because I'd like to gain some speed before I do that all the flaps do is just give you more extra lift for taking off and uh, the help with landing as well so 
and I think as I said before, they can help you turn more, more quickly, reduce your turning circle. Nose down, change that to miles per hour, flaps to landing, even though we're taking off, whoa, another bump there, gear up. And flaps up, and we are away. And where are we supposed to be going? Over here. Okay. Open radiator while I remember, just so we don't overheat before we even get there. And prop pitch down to 90. Cruise control mode. All right. And how far do you have to go? We've got quite a long trip ahead of us. So let's just speed things up a little bit. A little slow too jerky. Just do times two speed. Um, okay, well, I think one of the things I haven't mentioned is um, that in this game I haven't really done much um, flying with the Spitfires. When I first got the game, what was that? I'm going to slow down a bit here. Going too fast. Um, when I first got the game, I um, tried out a few of the planes, and the plane I found easiest to fly was actually the German, one of the German fighters, the BF-109, which um, I think I've shot down a couple of those so far in this campaign. So I played most of the um, most of my time in the game flying the BF-109, which is kind of what we call a boom and zoom fighter, in that it uses speed more than agility. To attack its prey. The Spitfire is more kind of an old style, at this time kind of a traditional fighter where it um, wants to fight in turning battles, whereas the BF-109 was kind of more of what was to come, where aircraft became much faster and um, you were able to, as long as you had a higher altitude than your opponent, you could dive on him, shoot at him, and then just fly away very quickly without them being able to catch up. So that's the, the style I'm used to. I'm not very used to this, this turning style dogfighting. But hopefully I'll get the hang of it as we go along. That's auto parts so over for a bit. opportunity to uh, en enjoy the beautiful English countryside. Once again it's another lovely day. And I have run out of things to say. Perils of being a YouTube Let's Play commentator person. But we're almost there now. We're um, coming out of the North Sea here. Of course, is the English Channel here. Might as well give you a geography lesson while we're waiting. English Channel, and it opens up out into the North Sea, and then um, Scandinavia is over this way. I'm sure everybody who watches this knows that. You guys aren't idiots. Okay, we're getting close now, so I think I might as well resume control here. just uh, two of us in this formation and once again I'm with Spitz number nine so try and stick close to this guy again autopilot is off which means I'm gonna crash into this guy if I don't slow down
What time is it actually? Where's the clock? Attention. Quarter past I'm nine, sure quite early. I'd normally be in bed at this uh, hour. So it sounded like the guys ahead have uh, run into the fighters. Let's turn the map off. Boom! Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, see those little dots? Silhouetted against the clouds. Oh, and there's some tracers in the distance over here. And there's the ships down there. Where's this number nine gone? Oh, crap. I've lost him already. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh boy, okay. So you've got a mix here of um, various German fighters. Looks like some bombers as well. him again. Oh, frame, wait, frame, wait. And it looks like they're attacking the ships down there. Well, you know what? I'd quite like to um, have a go at one of these bombers. Let's see who we got here. Okay, I'm going to go after these guys. Keep an eye on these BF 110s. We're pulling up in this guy now. Let's hope I don't get shot up again. Whoa! No! Crap! Okay, so once again we've got a direct hit to our engine load. Oh fuck. Elevator controls damaged. I should have learned my lesson. Never just fly right up behind the bomber. You're asking for trouble. And now my windscreen is covered in oil. I cannot see. Need some wipers. And uh, it's even in the mission briefing. Ignore the bombers. You're, a spit, you're in the Spitfire. Go after the um, the fighters. But no. Oh, see, now it looks like I've got a fuel leak. Hmm. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to continue with this flight. My elevator. The fuel looks like it's dropping rapidly. Yeah, it sounds like the engine's about to give out. Okay, where's our nearest airfield? There's one over here. Elevators are not working. I cannot die. Right, let's just turn the power down. Hopefully that will allow us to descend. I'm sure there's no one behind us. That, my friends, is the sound of an engine dying. We're still quite high, about 10,000 uh, feet here. airfield is quite far away so I think I need to stick near this one. No visible damage to the um, elevators. 
but nevertheless they are not working. Oh boy, and now I can't pull up. Okay. Is that the airfield down there? I think it might be. That's a proper airfield. Not like the shitty one that we have to fly from. This one's got runways and everything. Try and fly without the map. Where is the actual airfield here? Is it, or is it actually just a big field again with some concrete paths? Yeah, it looks like it's just another field. There's no actual runways. I was wrong. Okay, well. Let's just try and land on the field. I'm over those trees again. Okay, the airfield may not be a possibility. We may have to land on the river. Or riverbank. Oh, I don't know though. Oh, okay. The engine is no more. This, uh, this river seems like the safest bet. Okay. Okay, I cannot pull up. I cannot pull up. Elevators are not working. Pull up. Pull up. I don't want to go nose first. Pull up. Ooh. Ah, once again. We've crash landed. Oh well. well. Let's see if we can see how our friends are doing. Oh. Dog fight going on over here. Three, zero, zero. This guy is in trouble, and so is this guy, and that's me again. These are the bombers. And some Stukas, wow. Cool. Ju 87s, dive bombers. Got a distinctive um, wing shape there. Those are the ones that have the sirens on them that when they dive, they go wing just to um, shit everyone up. This is a Fritz who was not so lucky. Okay, well, all right, quit the mission. Now I can either just apply this and go on to the next one, but you know what? I think I performed poorly there, so I'm going to refly it instead. I think we can do a better job. Ah, loading screen. I'll see you after the loading screen.
Oh, okay, that wasn't as uh, didn't take as long as I thought. Okay, so um, let's try again. You know what? I'm going to skip skip the whole taking off and flying there bit because you've seen that, um, and I shall rejoin you when we reach our destination. Okay, here we are once again for our second go. Um, you can see there in the distance the anti-aircraft fire from the ships, which means we're obviously getting very close. So it's time to take control. And uh, again, I'm going to try and stick to my wing leader here, spit number nine, and attack fighters, ignore the bombers, because um, bombers are for the hurricanes, not us. Open the radiator a bit. Pop it down. And here he goes. Okay. Just stick to him like glue. What is he doing? Getting away from us. Who is he going for? Is he going for the bombers? Don't go for the bombers! It's suicide! Oh, BF 109s. Okay, that's who we should be going for. My friend appears to. Um, oh my god. Alright, so the BF1 and I are coming in now. My friend is indeed attacking the bombers, which he should not be doing. He is a very naughty pilot. Okay. Stukas down there. Just turn around. I'm on my way. Hold on. Let's see if we can try and get one of these beef on the mines. In hot. Come here, you little bastard. Okay, we're in a diving battle. Get out of that. Oh, I'm blacked out. Where is he? Where is he? Down there. Oh, the fuck, he's coming for me. But I have the advantage now, my friends. Hits. Is he going down? No, I don't think he is. Just keep watch out. 
I'm not surprised. Okay, here we are. Oh god. Spit number three is getting attacked. I'll save you! Maybe not. Where'd they go? Oh boy. Oh now he's on me! Try not turn him. That's what the Spitfire is good at. Going too fast for me. I think Spitfire number three is still in trouble down there. In fact, he's getting attacked by two people now. Let's see if we can help him out. That. Oh shit. Still not dead. Come on, come here. I want to kill you. That's it, that's it. Climb, climb, climb. Fuck, 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 fuck. Whoa. Okay, I'm stalling. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? I hear lots of airplanes going past me. I do not like it. You need to be very careful this close to... Uh, I was going to say the ground, but it's the sea, but nevertheless, you need to be careful. Oh, no, Spit 3 is in trouble. Let's try calling for help. Oh no, it's been three! Don't die me now! Oh, he's on fire. Bail out! Shit, look at all these guys. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Engine's overheating. Oh my god, where are my friends? Where the hell am I? I need help! Can't take all these guys. I'm gonna have to uh, just try and outrun them. I head over these ships so they can protect me with their anti-aircraft fire. Hopefully. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Fuel tank leak. Help me, ships! Shoot them down!
but they're shooting. It probably won't hit them, but um, might put them off a bit. Don't shoot me. Looks like I've got a couple of friends over here to help us now though. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no! Damn it! Obviously I should not have restarted the mission. Because I am now dead. Oh well. At least we get to look at the lovely destroyer here. It's Silent Hunter 3! No, it's not. Yeah, so a couple of sinking ships there. Damn it. Too many uh, enemies. These are the hurricanes. Don't have the same wings as the Spitfires. And here are the Germans once again. Blah blah blah. Whoa, look at this guy. Having your wings down is not going to help you there, my friend. You're over the sea. Get the ships. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Well, I'm obviously going to have to refly that one again because I died. So, okay. I think the problem there was we just um, got kind of dragged out to sea fighting those BF 109s, and then all their friends came back to help them. We got surrounded and. Um, Obviously got killed. So that's another lesson we've learned. Do not stray too far away from land. Um, let's see if we can put that lesson to good use when we refly this mission in the next part of Isle to Sturmovic 1946. Bye!